Good afternoon participants. Myself Asya Kayum, Assistant Professor in Computer Applications, Department of Higher Education, Jammu and Kashmir. I'll be handling the second technical session of the one day workshop on virtual labs organized by the Garment Degree College Kandarbal. In this technical session, I will demonstrate how to use the virtual labs in the field of computer science and engineering so that student can do practicals at home and at any time, anywhere. Virtual Labs project is an initiative of Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India under the aegis of National Mission of Education through Information and Communication Technology. The broader learning outcomes of the session are Users will grasp the concept of virtual labs. They can use the simulation to test the programming concepts. They can execute various experiments using virtual labs and they can get richer e-learning experiences. In the field of computer science and engineering, virtual labs can play a very important role. There is no need of exclusive equipment and setup. The costly equipment and resources from various educational institutions like IITs can be shared. There is no risk of damaging the equipment and 24 cross 7 lab availability is there. Virtual labs can also enable learners to write, edit and run code easily. In my demonstration, I will be selecting the discipline Computer Science and Engineering. The lab that I will be using is the Data Structures Lab from IIT Mumbai. The experiments that we will cover are Expression Evaluation using Stack, Advanced Flow Control and Sorting. In the advanced flow control, we'll discuss the factorial of a number and in sorting, we'll see the merge sort algorithm. Before going to the demonstration part, let us see what is simulation and how it works. Simulation is nothing but imitation of the operation of a process or system. This means if we don't have the equipments in reality, we can imitate the behavior of the equipments. The students can understand the concept using the videos that I'll be sharing with them. There are three videos. The first video is of a woman. She is wearing a virtual reality glasses on head and is enjoying a video game. Another video, it's preview of a woman flying using simulation. The woman is not flying in reality, but she is flying on a simulator and is mimicking the behavior of the real flying. The third video is that of a spacecraft that flies through the space station. So, Dear students, hope you will enjoy the videos. The another video is of a woman. She's flying using simulation.
And the third video is that of a spacecraft that flies through the space station. Okay, hope the students have enjoyed the videos. Now we'll see the demonstration. You just open the browser on your laptop, on your mobile phone or on your desktop PC. And you can just type there vlabs.iitb.ac.in. This is the interface of the virtual labs from the IIT Mumbai. Here you can see multiple labs. There are different disciplines and domains like electronics and communication, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, biotechnology and biomedical engineering and much more some labs are also there you can see here the participants can go through these labs also so i'll select the computer science and engineering discipline here you can see a number of labs are available like the problem solving lab, there is the artificial neural networks lab, pattern recognition lab is there, software engineering lab, data structure lab, VLSI, computer programming lab and few more are there. So we'll be selecting the data structure lab. You can see here there is the introductory part if student wants to just go through the introduction of the data structures you can just read the introduction then there is the list of experiments in the data structures and the important thing that you need to note is the prerequisite the prerequisite here is to enable the echo flash plugin in your browser i have already enabled the browser if you forget to do the same you won't be able to run the simulation on your pc so you can enable the settings in the settings then go to the privacy setting and then flash and then accordingly enable the flash plugin or you can download the install you can install the flash plugin from here this is a prerequisite for this lab now here is the feedback link you can go for the feedback if you want now go to the list of experiments these are the list of experiments The experiments are related to number systems. So expression evaluation using stacks, it is sorting using arrays, polynomials via linked list, searching trees, and few more are there. Okay, there is the data structure lab one is there, there is data structure lab two. Students can go through both these labs. So I'll be demonstrating the expression evaluation using stacks.
this is a theory part of the experiment the computer science students are aware about the stack data structure they must be knowing how to perform the expression evaluation using stacks must be having the information about the infix notation prefix and the postfix so before doing any experiment the student can go through the theory part the introduction part and he can see the objective of the experiments the students can use the stack to evaluate the expression you will come to know about the application of the stacks and you will see how to set up a web based calculator by the end of the time once the experiment is done the student can go for the quiz and he can fill the feedback form here i'll select the simulation okay this is the prerequisite that i already said that you need to enable the atop uh, flash plugin and now click here for evaluating the expression okay this is the simulator for expression evaluation it works like this if we enter any expression here the simulator will put the operands on the stack and will pop the operands whenever an operator is found and will perform the calculation this we will see here enter the expression suppose i want to add 7 plus 5 then i want to multiply it by 9 and finally i want to add 78 here we will see how the simulator will evaluate this expression using stack okay you can see here the simulator is pushing the operands on the stack and is popping the operands whenever an operator is encountered finally we'll get the result on top of the stack the simulator will first convert the infix notation of the expression to the postfix notation and then it will accordingly calculate the result okay you can see here the simulator is working and here are the result the result is 186 okay we can just try another example if i want to simply 2 5 cross 6 by 2 sorry 5 cross 6 by 2 okay you can see the simulator is working fine it is evaluating the expression it's pushing the operands on the stack popping it and finally popping the result using the simulators the students will get better insight of the concept they will get the theory part on the virtual lab and also the simulator part okay this was all about the expression evaluation simulator now we will see another 
experiment go to list of experiments there is the experiment related to number systems okay again this is the theory part student can understand the concept here then he can go through the theory how we can multiply to binary numbers to decimal numbers to octal numbers they are aware about the different number systems available the student can go through the theory part these are the objectives the objective is to that here is a simulator for addition and there is the simulator for multiplication okay now go to the simulation suppose we want to uh, simulate the addition of two binary numbers click binary means it's in the form of zeros and ones means if i have to write four in binary decimal four so it's a representation in binary is like one zero zero so if i want to add two binary numbers using the simulator enter the first binary the binary numbers one zero zero that's four and zero one one that's three in binary click on add you will see it will start adding from the least significant digit and it will queue us the results at one 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 that is the seven now if i want to add the two binary numbers again means four and three now we'll multiply it it will start multiplying from the lsp and it will provide us the result as 12 so this was a simulator for the binary addition and multiplication the same thing here is for the unary system roman system now we'll go to the third experiment that is the sorting using arrays the sorting is nothing but placing the elements in the increasing or the decreasing order can students can go for the theory here we have different sorting algorithms available like merge sort quick sort is there insertion sort selection sort here is the theory part for the merge sort the merge sort works like dividing the array into two then merging those two arrays and getting the results go to the simulation directly click on the merge sort this is the algorithm for the merge sort the best case will be when the array is already sorted here it will sort the array it's dividing the array into two sorting the elements and then merging the elements using the simulator students can get better understanding of the concepts and they can get the visualization also okay, you can see it has divided the array into two it's sorting the array and finally we got the result okay we are done now go to the worst case when the array is in reverse order here the simulator works it's performing the calculations it's sorting now again it's sorting the two sorted arrays you can see here it's sorting the sub array separately and is merging the results
okay you can see we are done it has sorted the array now we will enter the array of my own choice that's a random input like 7 34 6 3 then there is 7 t4 2 78 and finally 1 see how it will work means you can do the simulation yourself you just have to enter the array and it will show you how the more sort will work it's quite interesting that students can easily understand how the comparison is being done and finally merging is being done Okay, see, we are getting a sorted array. Okay, this is the sorted array. Now, we will explore we will explore the programming, computer programming lab from IIT Bombay again here we are here go to computer science and engineering go to the computer programming lab you can see here multiple experiments are there these are the list of experiments that have been uh, simulated till date by the IIT. We'll see the advanced flow control experiment. In this experiment, you'll see calculation of a factorial of a number. Factorial of a number is a mathematical concept in which we multiply a number with the number till we get 1 means if I have to calculate factorial of 5 it will be calculated like 5 cross 4 cross 3 cross 2 cross 1 and we will get the results again in the theory part students will have the understanding of the control flow how the looping works and we can do the simulation here okay you enter the number suppose i want to calculate factorial of six go to start you will see a program of factorial will be displayed here and the first line is marked as red means execution has started from here as execution always starts from the main click on next initializing a variable to the number that the user is entering means b equal to 6 then we initialize a variable fact equal to 1 and if the number that the user enters is 0 the factorial will be calculated to 1 means factorial of 0 is 1 1 will be returned but here i have entered the 6 so the execution will go to for loop and this for loop will get executed till i becomes zero you can see here the results will be displayed on the right hand side okay this is the result of the first iteration of the for loop and this for loop will get executed till i will become zero can see here now I have reached the value of 0 and it's now exiting and we are getting the result as 1 and 720 so students can go for this practical also and a number of experiments 
are available on the same portal. The participants can now check the different labs that are available on the site. Besides this, they can see the multiple labs from different IITs. I think there are seven IITs, seven IITs that are participating in the initiative of these virtual labs from MHRD. And you can just go to vlabs.go.in and that will display all the virtual labs available and the different IITs that are participating in the initiative. So I suggest all the participants to go to vlabs.co.in to see the list of virtual labs available for the students and the IITs that are participating in this initiative. By the end of the technical session, I hope the participants have gained some knowledge about the virtual labs and will use the same at the time of COVID when students can't go for offline evaluation and demonstration in college and universities. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation.